Welcome to the fishing episode of our Bella Coola trip. Pretty much all of our adventures are based around fishing. Bella Coola is a world-class salmon fishing destination, so that's what we target whenever we come here. Stay tuned to see what I've got hooked up here. Austin got me into the sport a few years after we started dating, so I've been fishing seriously for about six years now. My favorite fish to catch is coho salmon because they fight so hard and taste so delicious, but hooking into any fish, even the tiny stuff, is lots of fun too. Fun fact about Bellacoola, they get northern cohos, which are much bigger than the ones we get at home in the lower mainland. Extra sushi. One of the bonus benefits of being into fishing is that you get to see a lot of beautiful sunrises. Plus, it's a great way to spend time with your significant otter. Austin and I compete a little bit, but at the end of the day, we're just there to cheer each other on. On the other hand, snags are a frequent and inconvenient part of fishing. But as one fisherman once told me, if you're not getting snags, you're not fishing properly. Many fish hang out near the bottom of the river, and you need to get your gear in front of them so they can see it. We've lost an untold number of lures just at this exact spot over the years. Some spots are worse than others though, and you have to be extra careful. I think this was my second or third snag already during this fishing test, which is why I looked so frustrated. Another thing I absolutely love about Bellacoola is that it's in the Great Bear Rainforest, which has been called the planet's last large expanse of coastal temperate rainforest. So there are huge old growth trees everywhere, not to mention tons of wildlife, waterfalls, epic mountain vistas. It's truly a stunning place. This is a chum salmon. Chum are one of the bigger salmon species, so they fight really hard. However, they're one of the least popular for eating, so we usually practice catch and release whenever we land these fish. This pool was full of chum. It's always super exciting when you see them jumping out of the water. Fighting chum is definitely a good arm workout. We both caught our fish using cat's claw spoons. To get some for yourself, check out mustelatackle.com. Alright. Alright, here it goes. Besides fishing, Bella Coola also offers a wide range of beautiful hiking trails. We try to check out one or two new ones on each visit. We were still sore from our 36 kilometer day hike up to Humlin Falls a few days earlier, so we settled on hiking to Grey Jay Lake on our last day, which is a much more manageable two kilometers each way. Bonus, the trail was lined with a few different varieties of wild blueberry bushes almost the whole way up. It was a little scary because of course bears also love blueberries and, true to its name, the Great Bear Rainforest has tons of both black and grizzly bears roaming around. But although we did see some bear tracks, thankfully we didn't have any up close encounters. And we always carry bear spray around with us just in case.
Check out this amazing view from the top. Does it get more beautiful? The next day it was time to head home. We set out before sunrise on our 12 hour drive home, already looking forward to the next time we visit this beautiful place. The 20 km mountain pass road out of the Balakula Valley is now called simply The Hill, but was first known as Freedom Road when it was built by locals back in the 50s after the government refused to build such a dangerous road themselves. To this day, the hill is unpaved and extremely steep. There are grades of up to 15% and plenty of hairpin turns. But don't worry, the drop down the mountainside is only about 4,000 feet. Just drive slowly and enjoy the epic views. One of the best parts of road tripping is the snacking along the way. For everyone who watched this video to the end, let me know in the comments below what your favorite road trip snack is. Mine's gotta be trail mix. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next video. Follow us on Instagram for even more fishing content and check out our website mustdillytackle.com for a great deal on spoons.